This is a Hacko Omni Vice. They're fairly expensive. I think they go about 60 to 80 bucks. Uh, I've even seen them for 90 bucks. Um, you could probably find them for pretty cheap. I don't know if they're counterfeited yet. I think they're all from Japan. Um, but um, I got this pretty cheap. I got that one on a, for a steal because it was used. It was in a surplus uh, sale. So let's check out what we got here. All right, we got some manual, some Japanese writing, dimensions, how it works. Uh, looks like maybe they have different models. PBHGCDCRVI PBB PBDE C1390C. Is that is that lead? Are these metals? I don't know. Yeah, this must be some certification. SJ T11363-2006. I've got a statement of something, probably. All right, so it's Japanese and Chinese and English. Height to the bottom of the opening is adjustable from 75.5 millimeters. Sorry, adjustable from 72.5 millimeters, 78 millimeters, 84 millimeters, 91 millimeters, 97.5 millimeters. Uh, opening B is adjustable 0 to 2, 20 millimeters. Jaws are padded to preclude damage to delicate objects. Full 360 is available. ESD safe. Outer dimensions 88 millimeters by 3.5 uh, inches. Oh, I'm sorry, I read that wrong. <laughs> 57 by 88 millimeters. So let's take a look at it. Comes in this little box. Open this up. And it's just right inside. That's all that's in there. It's just nice and packaged, so it's in the middle of the box. And it's a little plastic bag. Uh, they're very heavy. Let's see. Uh, they're about the same. Uh, this one seems to have a different knurling on the top. The metal pieces seem to be about the same. This one's been a little crushed. Uh, this has got some satin, uh, satin finish. This has got a bead blast finish, some kind of. Uh, the metal column seems pretty similar. Heights are exactly the same, it looks like. Um, that's really the only difference I can tell. Let's check it out. So basically, you unscrew this. This is threaded in here like that. It's just a screw. You can take it all the way out. That's just like a ring. There's no clamping mechanism. It's just this clamping on that. So if you tighten it up too much, you're going to put some scratches on it and wear it. But it's a pretty good fit. So we'll put that back in there. Let's see how it's adjustable. Or you just... Um, oops. You can get the damn screw back in. I might put some rubber on here, like a grommet or something, just so I can pinch it down real tight and not have to worry about it. So you can put it on that height, and then lower it all the way down, and tighten it up at whatever height you want. On the top, this one seems to have a lot of threads, and it's very tight. This one's totally different. This one's super loose, it's very high threaded, it's got this big nut in the middle, and this stuff's just like a washer, it's fastened on there, and it's got this rubber and like a receiver in there, where that goes in. You can see, it's kind of nice, someone might have modified that to make it faster to use, this one, this one doesn't really come up. So I don't know if it's just, yeah, it looks like maybe they got some grease in there. Yeah, there's a little bit of grease in there. So that'll, that'll get better over time. They just, same thing, they have a washer, uh, but they're using a C-clip now. 
to they using a special groove cut in there and using a C-clip just to hold that on. And they, they put the play in there on purpose so that when you put you clamp a board edge it doesn't you know bend anything. And they got a little washer in there. The other one's the same, it's just got a bolt on here that recesses in there. It looks like they use the same dimensions, just changed this one piece and they figured, I guess they figured change the knurling while they're at it to match the bottom. Maybe this was something they bought that was already existing for something else. So basically how you use these is you, you, know, you do that, you do that. Let me find something large. Well, this is the biggest thing I have around here, but you put your PCB in there. You know, if you have a big PCB, this would be really good because you can just go like edge to edge. And once you clamp that down, it's not going anywhere. And these are heavy. So, you know. Just for work, rework and stuff, they're not going anywhere. And uh, it's a lot less, less cumbersome than using my helping hands. Where, I mean, at least now you, here you can flip them, but you got this giant thing in your way and you're trying to breadboard stuff next to it. or It's just a huge pain. So these were really nice. It was worth the investment. I wanted these for a long time. And um, they're just really nice. Something you probably have forever, you know? So that's that. Now I got two of them. I'm probably getting to buy some more. <laughs> so that's it for now. Till next time.